Yo, it's your boy Sunny Digital, and you tuned in to everything boisterous. Sunny Digital. I mean, I never miss a beat. I'm saying I never miss a beat. So hey Sony, how are you doing today? I'm good, how you doing? I'm pretty good. <laughs> so you're performing in Charlotte tonight. Like, what is your relationship with Charlotte like before even coming here tonight? Like, you like coming out here? You think it's support the culture? Like, yeah. what's the vibe? Well, first of all, Charlotte got a lot of girls. Mm -hmm. That's first of all, Charlotte got a lot of girls. <laughs> like good looking girls. Mm -hmm. Then it's like one of the markets though. Like, you know, like a long time ago, like when we was coming up, like everybody used to come here, like, mm -hmm. like North Carolina, South Carolina. Like, you gotta tell me because I'm young. Oh, you how old are you? I'm 21. Oh, so yeah. So, <laughs> um, I mean, it's still been, it's been going on for a minute though. But you mm -hmm. know, like like this is like one of the markets and stuff though. Like that, like if you got like a popping song or something like this coming out the city, mm -hmm. like it's like one of the cities that come like kind of like come book you and pick you up first before like the other major cities are before you get like a little bit popping. Stuff, though. You know what I'm saying? So basically, it's like a it's kind of like a you you know if you got something if you if you if you um. Just if you can like, make it here basically you know what i'm saying you gotcha. got something you want something gotcha so um when it comes to producing in the industry like what do you feel like can be better improved because um like i know like, i seen your tweets like early this year just about you know how the industry somewhat takes producers for granted so what do you think like can be improved in order to like kind of shift that narrative a little bit i know you're working with like the producers union but like yeah. kind of going to depth with that that's some I, I really can't go in depth with that though because it's all it's all it's all been a conversation though mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it ain't really been nothing like real real yet that's what i've been telling everybody though but it's like been a conversation that just needed to be like even just talked about though mm -hmm. like i was telling people like i don't think that um i don't think that this shit gonna go down like in my lifetime mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying it's just a conversation i can put it out there like me just notifying the problem letting y'all know there's something wrong with this shit though but i mean that but that's a big step though because a lot of people won't do that though you know right. what i'm saying because a lot of people get blackballed for some shit like that or you know what i'm right. saying like you know like it's that, just me speaking about it, though. That's a big step, though. Right, because it's you like know? we don't have like award shows that kind of like you know yeah. pat you guys like on the back like you in Metro. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of things that they can be fixed though, but the first thing is just acknowledging the problem first though. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's what I'm really on. Though. I'm just letting niggas know like there's something wrong here. You know what I'm saying? Even though it look good on the outside though, there is something wrong inside this shit. Though. For sure. Um. So let's hop into music. So I know you've been producing for a while. Yeah. And um, there was like an interview a long time ago. I think it just said, you know, how you got your start using like Fruity Loops, um, just like for production. Mm -hmm. um, so when did you realize like you had a niche for producing? Like when did you realize like this was like your thing? I, or do you feel like it's just your thing? No, nah, I was in like the sixth grade. I remember I was making beats and shit. And then uh, I had gave my um, I had gave my homie. I was making beats and I gave my homie some shit. I gave him like a, like some shit to like just listen to him. He took it around, let everybody, let, let everybody listen to it. And they're like, oh, this shit kind of good. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like oh, it's kind of good like I thought it was. And, you know, that was, that was that. That's when I know I was like, I had a little talent in it though. But then um, I went to um, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And like it was, at the time it was popular for like producers to like remake, um, not remake songs, but take the acapella of a song and make your own beat around. How were you then? I was in eighth grade. I don't mm. really know the age. I was in eighth grade though. <laughs> uh huh. Seventh grade actually. Seventh grade. Seventh okay. Grade, actually, I'm tripping. But I went out there and I, I made. It was that. Um, what you know about that song? You know that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I remade the beat to that shit though. Oh shit. Okay. Was, oh, yeah. When I finished it up, I was like, oh, you kind of good at this. And I was like, I'm just keep on doing it. So. And it lands you here. I, know, I mean, we're still going. It's still the beginning to me. You don't feel like you're at like your peak yet? Hell no. Not even <laughs> close to the peak. Man. Just half, not even half, half, just the beginning. Just the very beginning. Gotcha. People, people, they, don't, they still got a lot to find out. For sure. So now we can name like a lot of people that you work with from, you know, Gucci to even Black Boat, who's on tour with you right now. Mm -hmm. um, just considering like your whole career up until this point, what artists have you enjoyed working with the most? Mm, not none of like the major artists to be honest though. Mm -hmm. I like I like working on like the artists. The rising. Who, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because they got a little more sense of humbleness about them though, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's a little easier to work with them and bounce my ideas off of them. So 
when do you think like rising artists kind of lose that humility because it happens a lot they like do. you know I when know. Just, the soundcloud you know, gets popping and it's just like you know when all that shit get popping you know what i'm saying shit switch up though but it's like you know it, it kind of makes sense though you know what i'm saying like shit you, you get a lot of money you're gonna spend a lot of money though you know what i'm saying you're gonna do shit differently you know what i'm saying so shit gonna change so so do you think you changed when you became like a established like producer? I don't know. I never even really like even call myself an established producer. That's what y'all call me. You know what I'm <laughs> right. I, I'm still working shit every day. This shit's work. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't really established nothing like that to me. I'm still working. I'm still putting it together. You know what I'm saying? I'm just I'm happy for what I got going on or what was going. You ever on. thought like maybe that's why a lot of people appreciate you because you never really changed up or like how you move. You're still. Working hard, like, you know, you're trying to get in the business. I don't know, shit. You just, you know, I'm just doing me. You know, <laughs> that's all I really do, you know what I'm saying? So. Right. So, speaking of um, just producing and rapping, um, who will you be working with in, like, 2018? Like, yeah, you give us a feel, you know, we're getting close to that time. Man, see, y'all don't think I'm just, like, a loner and shit, though. I, like, I don't fuck with people, though. Y'all just don't understand these people are weird. Mm -hmm. I don't fuck with people. People right. are weird, especially when we start putting shit on black and white, putting it on paper. Right. People get weird. I don't I mean, like you. People start showing their their colors. I mean, like, I don't even you know. Like sometimes I don't even want to take it there with that person though. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I might just leave it over there. Like we might have one of these type of relationships where we can be like, hey, what's up? What's up? Right. Just leave it like that. You know what I'm saying? I like right. the music from over there. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you from over there. Like you know what I'm saying? It's nothing. And I'm not being like no loner though. Mm -hmm. But just for, like man, like. Like you, sometimes you ain't gotta be friends with everybody. You can just be cool from over there. You know what I'm saying? But for me though, that, that's a work better though. Like, you know, I, I, I dealt with a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? I, I know I need to move though. Like, I just I move better when it's just like with me and my squad and shit though. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really, I'm not interested in really working with nobody. I did it on the producer end already though, and I already know them. So why would I right. want to turn back around and whoop whoop? You know what I'm saying? Right. I'll be working with my artists or uh, people I fuck with, like Black Bone and shit, don't right. Pumping them up and putting them in a position and shit, though. Right. You know what I'm so, so, like, speaking of, like, those producers, who do you feel, like, on the producer spectrum, like, you have, like, the most chemistry with? Producer spe spectrum? Mm -hmm. Who I got the most chemistry with? Yeah. Um, A lot of people will probably assume like Metro, but I mean we don't know what you do outside of like the pictures and all that. I mean, shit. I don't know, it could be shit. somebody underground. It could be somebody that I mean, we shit. used to see. It doesn't I mean, matter. I fuck with I fuck with fuck with me basically like all my dudes and shit though my dude D Rich you know what I'm saying like like you know the people who people don't probably really know like the niggas who I look up to that's who I fuck with you Got know what I'm saying like man like. Metro and all, all the, the all my class man, they like classmates to me and shit though. So it's like I just be wanting to like just, you know, just kick it around them or be around them and shit. Though. I want to hang with the gurus and shit though. Now that I'm able to though, you gotcha. know what I'm saying? So that's what I be on and shit though. Cause honestly, like, we I wouldn't even really classify me and Metro and all of us in the same class. I came in a, a misty class. I came mm -hmm. in that Lex Luger class and yeah. shit though, blowing over into the new <laughs> class and shit though. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was like that exchange student. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> For real, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I got you. So, I got you. you know, but I, I, I was really on my OG young nigga shit, though. That's really what I feel like going on, though. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I fuck with my OGs and shit heavy, though. You know what I'm saying? The young niggas, like, you know, I feel like, you know, like shit, like, they all they all derive from what, what we had going on and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. We all derive from who I look up to. That's where we come from. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? So, I know you not only produce, but you also rap as well. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference between, like, those two career processes or, like... Yeah, you know? yeah, that shit way different. Like, you... What's harder for you? Or what do you find most challenging? Making beats is, like, just even, like, just thinking about it, it's harder than rapping. <laughs> just thinking about it? Yeah, it's just harder than rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not that it's even hard, though. It's just, like, you know, just take a little more. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, you gotta literally come up with sounds. You know what I'm saying? You can... Right. You talk every day. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of close to rapping if you just put some rhythm on it and shit but, true you know, do you love one more than the other i kind of like rapping more really i've been like rapping more to be honest though i started rapping you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i just i just went out of beats to rap on and started making my own beats so you know and that was like i just love to make beats you know? right so I, was like, I just know how to do it <laughs> you know what I'm saying? so um everyone in atlanta seems to have like this natural bond and like support of like one another um, are there any artists that we should pay close attention to in 2018? Because I know you say, like, you know, you hang around people that people, you know, aren't 
you know exactly you familiar like, with. But right now, yeah, yeah, and a year later, everybody be like, oh my god. Right, everybody, we'll hop on it next year. But it's just like, who could we hop on like now? Who do we need to be paying attention to? Mm-hmm. So you're not late. It ain't really matter if I tell y'all next to like they. It, it takes, well, I want to know. I want to know. I, I can guarantee y'all. Okay, even though you know, I don't. I can guarantee you, black boy gonna blow up. I okay. can't press the gas on that. That's a guarantee to go. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? And the way I got that whole plan set up, like you know, a lot of shit be strategically planned and shit all the time. Like, right. This nigga already in the game, but y'all don't even know he in the game. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got when you connect the dots, it's gonna crack niggas' head and shit though. You know what I'm saying? But then um. Was um Reese, my boy was doing Reese Lafleur, yeah. got you. He actually tight as fuck. I think he's gonna do do good in 2018. Um, I can see young, that. Young Ben's new kid from Atlanta. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot of people though. But you know, like we just gotta keep our eye out and actually care. Y'all just gotta catch it early. You know what I'm saying? So it really means something though. Cause when you hop on a bandwagon, you just look like a bandwagon. Right. Shit, though. You know Doesn't really mean as much. Yeah, but it's a lot of people. Young Nudie. Oh yeah, yeah. Seen yeah. him at the show, uh, yeah. the Cardi show about two months ago. Yeah, yeah I thought we were yeah. like, I like him a lot. Um, yeah, Pierre. Oh yeah. I like Pierre. Just rolls on on Pierre. He did yeah. His thing. He did. Uh, I like him a lot. Gotcha. Um. So overall, like, what can we expect from Sony Digital in 2018? Like. Man, look, I'm not, I'm not really producing for none of these niggas and shit though. Even, even if I did. I'm not promoting this shit though. I'm not pressing the gas on it though. You know what I'm saying? That's not my shit. I'm, I'm not really. That's a that's a lane that's taken up, man. When you, when you think of producers nowadays, man, it's Metro first. Blah blah. You know what I'm saying? Metro got that shit sold up. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So I, do you that, still have a love for producing? You're just taking like a a break from produce for other people. Man, listen, producing is a job to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rapping is a hobby. Mm-hmm. My hobby's fun. My job is like you know, I gotta get up and do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm over this shit. I got everything I can get out the rap, out the, out the producer game. I'm gonna say, you know what I'm saying? All I can do right now though is something that ain't nobody else doing. Just speak up for them, so I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Well, before we leave out, besides yourself, like who are your like top five producers like of all time? It could be Timbaland. It could be it could be anybody that you want to be. Shorty Red. Okay. Drummer Boy. Okay. My boy D Rich. Okay. I'm still hanging with. Um, be Weezy, he's one of the greats in my book. He can do anything. Um, Mike Dean is crazy too. Oh yeah, shout out to Mike Dean. Yeah, that's my boy. I just did a song with him too. Awesome. Did a song with him and Dice. Me and him produced the beat too. Oh, awesome. That's the only time I'm really going hard on producing for song with me on and stuff though. You know what I'm saying? So you know, I'm shifting the produce. I mean, shifting the attention. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. Are you excited for the journey, or it's just kind of like just taking it like one day at a time? Yeah, this shit exciting. This is what I did. This is how I started my producing shit. Just by just you know just jumping down on fake, just doing what I think gonna work. So you know, not even what I think gonna work. I know this shit gonna work. There's no, it's no option B. Right. You know. What, what can we do to like make sure that like you still keep producing? Cause it's just like producing and giving us you know raps as well. Like, cause that is what you started out with doing. But how can we keep you like still like in the producer game? Cause we still consider you. You know, important. That's cool, you know. I mean, y'all can do whatever y'all want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all can, y'all can consider me whatever y'all want to, though. But mm-hmm. you got to understand, though, it's a whole new wave, though. I'm going to keep it a buck. It's a whole new wave who don't know who Sonny Digital is, though. They know of him, but they don't know what he did. Right. You know what I'm saying? And so it's like I can kind of shift them to wherever I want them to go. I can start putting out more rap shit than producing shit, though. Okay. And I think all, all I was doing was putting out producing shit, though. So that's all y'all could know me for. True. Now, if I catch up with this rapping shit, and this shit is just as good as the other shit that all the other bullshit niggas putting out, and I'm producing all my own shit, I'm running laps around everybody. Gotcha. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a business, man. I, I done figured this shit out, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, gotta get the money some way, man. I ain't gonna get it on the producer end and this shit, though. That lane sold it up. They won't let me be the greatest. Now, I know I'm better than a lot of people, man. Grabs Hennessy bottle. I feel it. Hmm. <laughs> but um, just thank you so much for being here, and we hope that your love for producing doesn't fade just because of it's kind of like it's just a clout era right now. I'm not gonna lie. I'm already telling you that shit is over. I'm, I'm the clout era shouldn't have happened when I when I came I know. Through. Like you know what I'm saying? Like cause I, I put a lot of work in on this game though. You know what I'm saying? I put a lot of work in, so you know it's like. You know, like I said, producing wasn't, wasn't what I came in on, so it wasn't what I was planning on, like, you know what I'm saying, just riding on out doing this shit, though. This shit just, a, it's, it's a way to make some money to go do what I really want to do. I didn't really want to be in the, in the rap industry to be for real, shit. At this point, I didn't, I didn't figure it Can out. Can we see you on TV anytime soon? Yeah, I might see you tomorrow. You never know, shit. I pull all kinds of things, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
So it's Sony, just expect the unexpected guys. And be on the lookout for what he has coming next in 2018. All projects, all type of shit, man. All, all shit. shit. Just be ready. I swear to God, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Money everywhere. Yeah. Hey, Nike takes. Whoa. We got every pair. Yeah. yeah.